Remember, if James Harden signs an extension this summer with Brooklyn, he's looking at five years, 270 million. That's all said and done. And if he opts out and signs with another team, he'd be leaving about 70 million on the table. Of course, there's more to it than that. This isn't totally black and white. So what exactly would a Ben Simmons, James Harden trade look like? How would it work? Here to tell you is our front office insider, Bobby Marks, who is the trade machine. But we're also at the trade machine here. So what are some scenarios that could make this deal actually work, Bobby? The ultimate game of chicken right now, right? Bok, bok. We, know, we know the players, right? As far as a player like James Harden, Ben Simmons, money is a little bit short. You still have to add about um, $3 million to the deal. So now if you're Brooklyn and you're looking at the Sixers roster, who else do you want here? A player like <clears throat> Seth Curry, Matisse Thybul, Furkan Korkmaz. Let's put a player like Curry into the deal. It certainly helps your shooting. They've got picks to trade, right? You look down here, they've got a 2022nd pick. We add that to the mix. And it works. Boom. Right? Nets save about $15 million towards the luxury tax year. Everybody is happy. The big question is going to be, does Philadelphia think they can sign James Harden outright with cap space this summer? Mm. Or they just do this deal right now and Harden gets his money in the offseason from the Sixers? And the Nets, it's a huge risk. They could potentially lose him for nothing. Absolutely. And this is the trade that potentially makes it work. So between now and the end of the trade deadline on Thursday, can I can I touch the trade machine? You might get some smoke coming up. Okay. And we're All actually right. going to go to the big board later. Yes, I am so <laughs> excited. All right, thank you so much, Bobby. I want to bring in the, the panel for a quick a panel for a quick reaction to this deal. Richard, who says no to that trade that Bobby just laid out? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, no, I, I think ultimately as much I, I, I I can't speak for the Brooklyn Nets locker room, but I can say that if Kyrie was playing and Kevin Durant and all the things were moving in the direction, but it's not. So now they have to look at, okay, is James unhappy? If they feel like James Harden is unhappy with the situation and who knows why he would be unhappy in Brooklyn, then it's like the possibility of losing him for nothing, that kind of scares you. We can talk about Joel Embiid having the season of, of his life, but Kevin Durant, before his injury, was probably either one or two in MVP voting. So, like, they have a great player that they don't want to waste any time with either. So they're trying to figure out, I think both teams are trying to figure out how to not waste a championship caliber season. Well, Zach, I saw you studying the trade machine over here, almost in awe of it. What do you think? Yeah, I made a fake trade when you weren't looking. I traded Joel Embiid for Kyrie Irving. How did it work? Fun, and Bobby it was successful, but Bobby <laughs> took it away. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think right now, 47 hours and 26 minutes before the trade deadline, That's math. the Sixers would probably say no to that if this conversation ever happened in these kind of specifics, which it has not, at least directly, because I think the Sixers are, as, as Ryan said, everything's a negotiation. Everything's a leverage play. And I think the Sixers would say, oh, he's, he might leave for nothing, Brooklyn. Don't you think he might leave for nothing? He's not, leaving, think, all, he's not leaving all that money on don't, the table. Don't you, think, don't you think we can maybe have an avenue to open up the cap space to sign up? Well, if you think that, you're not getting Seth Curry and you're not getting our first-round pick. Come back to us at 2.58 Eastern time on Thursday with a better offer. But, again, this is all back-channel, non-direct talks at this point. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.